Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a bathing garden haul, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it up into parts because I did one video and it was like an hour long and I was like, this is just too long. So I'm going to try to break it up into a bit of a smaller part. So what I did is I ordered from the lavender collection, the little red riding hood, and then she had some miscellaneous clams, but she also had a Halloween. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the Halloween first. Um, I'll title them The Bathing Garden and I'll put Halloween Collection so that way you know. I don't know why she had Halloween on the site. I'm not, I don't know if it was overstock or what it was, but we are gonna try to go through that. I, and then also I have a ton of samples. She sends you so many samples, it's ridiculous. And then I think she sent me some free clams. I think she sent me some free clams and then also some free shapes that I didn't order. So that was really, really nice. Her packages always come really immaculate. One thing I do find with bathing garden though, is you do have to warm it under a pretty high heat. So I always tend to use my 24 watt warmers or 20 watt warmers with bathing garden because I feel like they need heat. Um, I also have really good luck with my 17 watt pink zebra warmer, but that's in the bathroom. So. That's kind of a little bit of a different scenario in there. It's a very small space. So I would expect most everything to throw in there. It doesn't always though, like not bathing garden, but other things I've put in there. Sometimes they don't throw, I don't know. But bathing garden samples do great or one cube of a bar. So there's that. So I'm not gonna go over, like I'm just gonna show you really quick. Like if anything interests me, I'll smell it like this salted cotton blossom. I think this might be available now and I'm sorry that I'm doing this so late. I wanted to get this up before she took the collections down, but for next year, perhaps you might be able to come back and do this. This is like clean cotton, but it's that different version of clean cotton. It's like not clean cotton, but I think cotton, actually cotton blossom is a, it's either a Yankee or a Bath and Body Works dupe, I believe, I'm not sure. That one smells good though. It's like a clean, but it has a little bit of salt. Purple lime, which I think I did have in my last bathing garden haul that I did upload. So she always has nice shapes, cute shapes. And this one is really pretty. It's, I feel like it's la it's got lavender. I'll try to find purple lime, the description. I feel like there's lavender in there. Huh, interesting. This one, I could not find the scent description of. This is Fairy Hearth. And look at the picture on that. That is just so cute. So this is just a shape. I have had this order forever, by the way, just for... Okay, this smells very earthy. Almost uh, fresh, fresh earthy, a little masculine. Maybe more on the fresh earthy. I smell something masculine in there and I don't know if it's like a sandalwood, vetiver, maybe a wood type smell, I'm not sure. Next up we have cream cheese lavender cupcake. So there's that. Oh, that, you know, cream cheese and lavender is something I would never think to put together, but it kind of works. It's kind of a creamy lavender smell. All right, I'll try to do a few more samples and then I'll save them for the other videos. But here's pink bunny ears. What's that? Oh, what is that? Is that strawberry? Hmm, I don't know if that's strawberry. This is the strawberry that I don't like. Hmm, is it like a, it's like a, that weird strawberry note. I definitely don't like that. I'll have to look up the scent description. Okay, I'll do one more and then we'll get into the Halloween clams that I picked up. So this is strawberry drizzled fried Oreo. This one's okay. This one I thought with that other strawberry smell. This is actually a nice strawberry. Hmm, I don't hate this. I didn't think I would like a strawberry drizzled fried Oreo, but it actually smells pretty good. It's kind of got like that bakery smell going on to it. Okay, let's get into the Halloween clams. So these were just randomly, I was ordering the lavender 
and the Little Red Riding Hood and something else that she had going on. And I, oh, the Fairy Realm, sorry. Yeah, the Fairy Realm. And then I saw that she had, I came across something. I was searching up a scent note and all of a sudden I saw Halloween and I was like, um, so then I started looking for Halloween. I don't know. I got lost in the matrix. So this is Marshmallow Pumpkin Rice Krispie. I don't remember if this was one that she sent for free or if I ordered this one. I'm not, I can't remember. But we will look at the clams because as always, she does the clams up really nice. So this is your typical pumpkin. I'm thinking if pumpkin marshmallow is just one like single oil. This is a very creamy pumpkin. I mean, just like you would think marshmallow and rice krispies like tone pumpkin down. So yeah, this one's good. It will be good for fall. Next we have Horfrost Tonic, which has been around for a while. And this one is, can I even, okay. My hand was hurting so bad after writing all these. This is Lime, Cypress, Mellow Pine, and Cool Air Notes. Also, by the way, I cut out some filler words. Like sometimes she'll say like a juicy zest of lime among cypress woods among the mellow pines in the mountains. I cut all that out <laughs> because my hand could not. By the time I was done writing these, I was just like, my writing was getting worse and worse. So there's that. Again, just the detail. Although I did, I will say when I opened these to smell them, like stuff was spilling everywhere. It was crazy. So I get when people say they don't love super glittery clams and stuff. I get it. I don't mind it. I think it's kind of fun and pretty. Whoops, and I just shot <laughs> glitter. This one is really good. This is very like airy. There's like a crisp crispness to this when you smell it. I feel like whatever the cool air notes are, that's what I smell. Just a little hint of lime and cypress I'm not really familiar with, but it's probably giving like a little bit of a tree note and the pine, the cypress and the pine. That one's very pretty though. I love that one and I just got glitter like all over me. Holy wow. So that one's more of like a, your fresh scent. This one I think was a gift. I don't remember ordering this one and I couldn't find any scent description of this one. So this is Bride of Frankenstein Smoothie and yeah, I didn't write a scent description down. Here is the inside. She has the most adorable embeds, I swear. Like the face on this guy, <laughs> so cute. Like really, just adorable. And then lips. I believe this is some sort of spiced apple. Okay, so I'm getting a very spicy note off here and I think I smell apple. I think there was a Bride of Frankenstein years ago, but I don't, like I never really order her Halloween or Christmas. So I thought ordering Halloween now would be a great time to do it so that I could warm it this year. Yeah, this is spicy. I was thinking the smoothie might tone it down a little bit because you know, smoothie and anything is gonna kind of cream everything out, but it's very spicy. Spicy apple, I guess. I don't know, I'll have to look and try to see, but. I don't think I saw Bride of Frankenstein, but I feel like that one's been around. I don't know. Uh, oh, did I get a second one? Of the, okay, I got a second one of this one, sorry. Poison Apothecary, which has been around forever. This one I've always really liked. It's just a different spin on your hot apple cider. This is hot mold apple cider with a woody undertone. So it's got the wood scent that gives it a little bit of a different twist. And then of course on the inside, we have her gorgeous like headstone, gravestone. Yeah, so this one is, it's not a very bright apple cider. It's t dulled down a little bit to me, or at least on cold. It could totally change on warm, but I am getting the wood undertone in there. So if you like, hot apple cider type sense, then you'd probably like that, like a variation of it. So that is good. Okay, so we have Haunted Mansion, 
which is, I love the, love all of her stickers. I don't know if you saw it on The Bride of Frankenstein. Look at her, it's like, what was her name? Did she have a name or did they just call her Bride of Frankenstein? I'm trying to think. But anyway, she's on there. And then we have this one, Haunted Mansion, which is Orange Bonfire Cinnamon Sugar Sticks Mandarin Chiffon Cakes. It's a mouthful. And uh, just the red glitter in there. They make for fun melts, you know? This one smells pretty good. I smell that orange cinnamon smell. I can't tell if I smell bonfire yet. Has this one, has ha is Haunted Mansion new or has this been around? So the most I can make of this is I smell orange and then cinnamon. Maybe a slight hint of mandarin. It's not very bakery to my nose yet. We'll see. This one's interesting with that bonfire scent. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, next up we have spider nest cotton candy. Doesn't that sound gross? Spider nest? Ugh, like don't even get me started. <laughs> um, no scent note on this. I don't think, I don't feel like I ordered this one. I feel like this was a freebie as well, but super cute. And every time I say cute, super drink. Okay, I knew what this one was. This was like a fruity. I feel like this has watermelon in it, which is kind of interesting for Halloween. Almost like a, it kind of reminds me of watermelon, like, mm, I was gonna say lemonade, but I don't know. Saltwater taffy maybe? I'm not sure. That one's not bad though, but this is more of like would be when you're transitioning into fall and you don't want something super heavy yet, that would be a great one. So there's that. Sleepy Hollow Breakfast. This one sounded good. Love the name. I love watching Sleepy Hollow every year. It's not like a favorite, but it's kind of a spooky show and it's funny. I like Johnny Depp in it. Okay, this is cinnamon and nutmeg French toast, which French toast got me right there. Sprinkled with bacon, drizzled with loads of maple syrup, tonka, and vanilla. I can tell you I don't smell bacon in here. I get the French toast is what I'm smelling. I get like that really yummy cinnamon French toast smell. I do smell nutmeg, which it says cinnamon and nutmeg. The maple sugar is there but it's not heavy it's like a super heavy maple smell so love that can't wait to get that on a warmer all right wool's bane's bites which has been around for a while and this one is great really like this one this is rich holiday cookies butter moroccan mint again like i said i dumbed it down i didn't put in filler words now this is where my handwriting was good and then you can see later that my handwriting starts to get bad <laughs> I tried, I really, really did. This one is so fun. Ugh. I love the mint in this one. Just cookies and mint for me is always a winning combo. So there's that with all the colorful sprinkle. Yes, love this one. You get the cookie note and you get the mint. Oh gosh, this one is good. I love this one. I will come back with a review on that one. Okay, vanilla cream pumpkin. This is another Halloween one that I found. No scent description just because, you know, when I clicked on this one, I there was nothing there, so I couldn't get a scent description. But I mean, not like you need one. It's vanilla cream pumpkin. Like, what are you gonna do? <laughs> How are you gonna describe that? Yeah, and it's just kind of like the uh, pumpkin marshmallow rice crispy one. It's just pumpkin with a cream down, you know, version, cream down version of pumpkin. That's what I'm trying to say. So there's that. Next we have rose gold gourd. And this one I couldn't find a scent description for, but I was able to message the bathing garden page and they answered back. So it's cream cheese, frosted pumpkin crunch cake, drizzled with thick honey and cinnamon sugar. This one again, 
just the details, the colors, everything. So this one is, hmm, this one smells, you know, I don't know that I like pumpkin crunch cake. There's something about crunch, some, you know, whenever anything has crunch in it, I don't, I don't know why, something about that note. It's good, it's very spicy though. I don't smell honey strongly in here. The honey's not like the dominant note. Sometimes honey can be very like thick and heavy and sometimes floral. This one is very good though. I mean, this one is very, it's got a good spiciness to it, but I don't know like 100% what's, you know, you gotta warm the, some of those, you know, that you, that don't have, like you can't really tell on cold. They kind of blossom up during the warming process. So Toxic Earth, this is another one that's been around. Dig with caution, that's cute. Okay, coffee, whiskey, caramel, cake. And it said something like uh, drizzled lightly of beer or something <laughs> sprinkled with candy bones. I just, I couldn't be bothered to use all the filler words, <laughs> but there we go. Oh, I can smell this one all the way from when I had it here, I could smell it back here. So, oh, this is just such a good caramel coffee. Now I don't always love like a heavy caramel coffee smell. This one smells good in the clam, but if I remember correctly, maybe a few years ago I warmed this and it was very strong. Like it was too heavy for me, but we'll see. Yeah, this is very heavy on the caramel. You have to like a heavy coffee smell. I don't know if I spell whiskey in there and it says lightly of beer, but. So there's that toxic earth. Okay, we've got a few more and then maple syrup and yellow cake. I love yellow cake. I got this. I got yellow cake from another vendor and I was like, oh my God, there's no scent description for this one because it's pretty self-explanatory. But you guys look at the, this, I mean, just yellow and that brown bronze tone. Oh, so pretty. Red, bronze, the light yellow, the dark brown, oh, the colors just kill me. So this one is yellow cake, which I love. If you've never had yellow cake as a single oil before, try it, oh my gosh. It's not heavy maple, it's just the perfect amount of maple, which is good. This bronze leaf, like, that is just, the maple leaf is just too much. That just gets me. All right. Next one we have is sugar and spice pumpkin bread. And this one, yes, we do have a set description. Caramel sugar sprinkles blended with pumpkin spice and yeasty bread notes. Ooh, okay, this one is very bready. This is a nice bread. I haven't had, oh, this is a really pretty bread. I like this. This is more of like the golden rolls kind of bread. It's not. Maybe it's a maybe it's spicy, but maybe because of the pumpkin spice. So it's kind of reminding me of zucchini bread, but I I was smelling the like honey roll, not honey rolls, but like a roll, like a regular roll, dinner roll. Oh, that's good. That's got the perfect amount of the spice, and I'm not getting caramel sugar too much. Maybe that's why I said honey roll. Maybe I was sp smelling some of that. Um, caramel sugar, but that one is really nice. All right, just a few more here. So this one was, I think, just on the page, and I happened to find it, but this is Raspberry Razzleberry Rage, and I couldn't find the scent description on this. If you don't know this, and this was, um, someone had told me this a few years ago, and then I had to be reminded again <laughs> on the fan page for the bathing garden page, but if you go to your order, log in and click on your order, it'll tell you, it'll take you to the scent descriptions. Now it doesn't work all the time. There were a few that I had on my order list that were not coming up, they were gone. So sometimes she does take them off the site. So that's when you have to like try to do like those 
like deep Google searches and sometimes those don't even bring up anything. So anyways, okay, so very adorable. Just uh, love it. So this is, I mean, it's raspberry. It's not like raspberry sauce or like a super bright raspberry. It's just like a typical raspberry scent. It doesn't remind me of like her raspberry glaze or her rose glaze type smells. It's not that like bright and creamy. It's more of like a fruity, you know, your fruity raspberry type scent. So, all right. And then my last two for this portion of the haul are the Sweet Mummy. So this is Mummy Apple Sugar Cookies. So this is Frosted Sugar Cookies, Apple Cheesecake, Spun Sugar, and Caramel. How adorable are those? Just super cute. This one smelled so good to me. Like this is like the perfect apple cookie now i do like the apples kind of toned down in here because i think it's apple cheesecake so i think it like tones it down so it's not a heavy apple this is really good it's just like you get the cookie you get the soft apple you get the creaminess from the cheesecake you do smell brown sugar but it's not really heavy and sometimes I have to be careful with like heavy brown sugar. So this is brown sugar caramel. I did grab two of those because I just thought he was so dang cute. This one has little, was the other one have a little messed up? No, no. This one has, look at his eyes. Okay. And then look at this one's eyes. His eyes are more like looking straight into your soul. His eyes are like he's had a fun night out and he's just getting back home and he's not sure where he is or what he's been into so all right so that is the first part of my order i will come back with the probably the lavender part next because that's pretty big um yeah but thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye guys